Hi, my name is Lauren Medlicott. I am the Embrace Coordinator. Embrace was born out of Red Communities as a project to link Christians in Cardiff and Newport to survivors of human trafficking, to just be friends, to just hang out, to have a good time. And we are going to speak with three past befrienders to talk about their experiences of befriending. Um, I heard about befriending and I thought I could do that um, and it, it would help someone so I did it um, and I think it these people are in a position that they must be really isolated um, and quite scared and in a new place that they don't maybe don't know um, and don't understand so to have someone who can sort of walk through that with them um, I think would be quite valuable for them. I'd moved to Cardiff sort of about a couple of years before I um, found out about Red Community and the opportunities that you had to um, befriend with Embrace. And when I read the leaflet, I was thinking that's that's what, one of the things I want to do now I'm here in Cardiff. I've been sort of praying and looking for stuff to do. And just the thought of being able to just um, get alongside somebody, do life with them. Um, it's really exciting me and so yes that's why I decided to go to the training and see what else it entailed. I think the advert I saw was said something about do you want to make a difference and um, do you have time available and there was a there was a list of things and I thought oh yes I've got that I'd like to do that I'd like to make a difference to someone and all the things I thought they're doable I can do them so I thought I'll apply and see what happens and yeah I was excited when I was accepted to be a befriender. I think the most meaningful outing we had was when I took her to Swansea. Um, she loves sort of Egyptian history and culture, um, so I took her to the e Egyptian museum there, um, and we just spent the day there. Went to the beach, um, and she really thrived. She loved learning about it, um, and it was just really nice to see her doing something that she loved to do. Some of the outings we've been on to places like St Fagans or even to the museum in town and just walks in View Park have all been great. You know when you're trying to get to know someone and you, you know, you're just sort of thinking, well what can I ask them? I don't know them at all. Can I ask them about their family or have they got siblings? And so I was trying just to be friendly and ask about, you know, family and things and obviously someone in their position it's very difficult for them to talk about. So that was a tough one because hearing that actually uh, the things that her father had said to her, you know, uh, that she, he didn't want to see her anymore and um, just the pain of saying, oh, I've got these siblings and they're this age but they don't see each other anymore and that was really hard to hear and hard to sort of know how to respond because how can you support someone when they're so far away from their family and The lady that I befriended is a really young single mum, so she was new to the country, new to being a mum. As I said, she had a language barrier, so it's a really difficult time and she joined the Embrace um, programme so that she could meet somebody to help her get involved in her community, which I think is a really brave thing for her to have done. I think my friend has benefited from this friendship. Um, in like a way that we all benefit from friendships, having someone to talk to, having someone to make you not feel so alone, um, and just having someone to process things with, um, and just exploring as well. Like we've done some fun things, we've done um, some relaxing things. So I think it's just been good for her to get out of the house and just to have someone to rely on. She was very lonely to begin with before, um, because she didn't have anyone in Cardiff to be a friend no one at all so I think she was very lonely very low so I think just having a regular contact has really helped her um, to feel not so isolated and also um, just generally having a friend and she says that I'm like a sister which is really lovely to hear I've loved seeing her change because to begin with she was so
quiet, so stressed, so in a state really. And now if you saw her, you would think, well, there's just, she's, it's such a difference. She looks completely different. She looks happier, more confident, healthier. I've enjoyed sort of getting to know my city better. Um, I didn't want the outings to be really boring for her, so I tried to think of like creative things to do um, or different places to go. And in doing that for her, I then sort of experienced the city better myself as well um, and just, just had some really fun times. Friendship has benefited me no end. Um, it's a pleasure to meet up with my lady, to see her growing in confidence, to see her little girl um, growing up and who's very, very busy, very active, lively little girl. And it's just, just great to see um, her sort of settling down and um, starting to get her life um, sort of back in order a bit. suggest this project to my friends I think it's a really really good thing to do um, I think you just need to be prepared for it for me scheduling was a little bit of an issue so it's something I had to just sort out um, but I definitely I think it's a really positive thing to do I have already suggested the project to friends of mine I know friends of mine have already been um, to the training and yes I would recommend it again I would say don't enter it lightheartedly though because it is it is a big commitment, but it's worth worthwhile commitment. I would suggest the project to friends. Um, I think if you have the time to give to it, it's a wonderful thing to do. I would say only do it if you can really commit to do it because these people have been let down so badly that you really have to be 100% in. If what you've heard about is something that you would be interested in, befriending for Embrace, feel free to get in touch with me, send me an email or give me a ring. Thanks.